Now let's discuss uh, the Hifiel infinitives in terms of the vowel exceptions. Now these vowel exceptions are going to be very predictable based on uh, information that we've learned before. Uh, let's see how this works. So if you've been in my class um, this semester, you know that when nun is the first letter of a shoresh, and um, you have some sort of prefix that comes before it, and you have another consonant letter after it, what's going to happen to this nun? We've seen this a tremendous number of times. It becomes a dagesh in the next letter. Um, so let's see this in action. So the nun becomes a dagesh. We saw this, let's say, uh, in nifal, uh, yibane, right? Uh, the nun... Uh, became a dagesh, min safer becomes mi safer, right? Ye, ye, yod prefix plus natan and kal becomes yi tain, right? All these get a dagesh to show the draft nun. Okay, so it's no surprise that whenever nun, that's going to be squashed between the he patach of the infinitive. Um, let's give a shorish nun gimel dalin. Here's my kelif prefix. It becomes leha gid, okay? So here I have my Kelev prefix. Here's the alam, and I'm just picking one. Um, I have a hey patach, right? My nun um, gets squashed out and becomes a dagesh in the next letter. So look at it um, when it's the uh, Kelev prefix. It's a lihat seal, right? So what's my shorish nun sadi lamid? This is my hatsala shorish. It means to save, to rescue. Lihat seal. So I, have my, I still have my hey patach. Right, I still have my chirik malay, I still have my kelev letter, right? The only thing that's missing is the nun uh, with the shva. Um, look at the double language version, um, hatzel, tatzil. Um, so you have, um, in both cases, right, I have a zagish uh, in place of my nun, of my shoresh natzal, okay? So let's see this in action in the psukim. In number nine, Vayomer Yirmiyahu Alehem. So Yirmiyahu said to them, meaning B'nai Israel, Kol Mar Hashem Elokei Yisrael. So said Hashem, uh, God of Israel, Asher Shlachtem Oti Elav, that you sent me to him, Lehapil. Okay, so what's Lehapil? What's my shorish of Lehapil? So um, I have at my Kelev prefix. I have my hey patach, I have a right? So that's the part, that's the structure of the infinitive, the hifiel infinitive. So what am I left with, right? I'm left with a pei, uh, one second, I'm left with a pei and a lamid, and inside my pei have a dagesh, which tells me that my shorash is nun, fei, lamid. Now what does that mean in hifiel? If it exists in kal, a uh, cause to fall. Okay, so, so said Hashem, God of Israel, that you sent me to him to cause your plea to fall before him, right? To cast down your plea before Hashem. Okay, this is what Hashem said. Okay, dot, dot, dot. Okay, let's look at number 10. In number 10, lehagid baboker chastacha. So, lehagid, I have my kelev prefix. I have a hey patach, I have a chirik malay. Okay, what else do I have? I have a gimel with a dagesh and a dalid. Okay, so the lamid, hey, and yud are the structure of the hifiel infinitive. But my dagesh, my gimel shows a drop nun. Then I have gimel dalid. Okay, so it's um, like hagadah shal pesach. So it's to tell over or to tell. Um, to tell over in the morning your kindness. Okay, number 11. Vatomer Rut Elav. Rut said to him, Madua Matsati Why do I find favor in your eyes? Lahakirini. So here I have um, an object suffix. The knees, my object suffix. So here I have Le Ha Mechirik Malay. And then I have um, for my Shoresh. I have a kaf with a dagesh and a resh. So it shows me that my shorish is nun, kaf, resh, because I have a dagesh, shows me a drop nun. Um, and then, uh, so it's to recognize me. This is my hakar hatov um, shorash, to recognize, and then the ni is me. So Ruth said to uh, Boaz, why, why, uh, why do I find favor in your eyes? Uh, to recognize me, that you um, are treating me uh, so well. Now let's look at number 12. Um, the a raid. So is this type of vav, avav haipach? It is when it's before an aleph prefix, 
right? Because uh, remember the structure is well, patach zagish, the olive can't get a zagish, so it becomes a bounce back, a uh, compensatory lengthening. Va'eri the hati lo, so I descended, past tense, the hati lo, of lamid, he patach hirik malay. Um, that is um, the structure of uh, hifiel, infinitives. And what am I left with in terms of my letters for um, my shorash? So I have a tzadi with a dagesh and a lamid. So my shorash is nun tzadi lamid. This is my hatzala shorash. So uh, I went down to save him. Right, la hatsi lo, the O N uh, suffix is him, to save him, Miyad Mitzrayim, from the hand of Egypt. And here's a chart that we're going to be building uh, in this unit. Uh, we've already done the regular form, right? Lamid shva he patachirik malay. And now we just did pain nun, right? Pain nun is where I have basically the same structure as regular. I just, uh, my nun becomes a delegation the next letter. Okay, now let's look at some other exceptions.